All right, so this is gonna be basically a quick video on uh, how to set up a BEC on lowriders. Uh, first thing I'm gonna have to say is I apologize for the way that I'm talking. I had surgery done on my face, so I'm talking a little funny because my face is swollen. So I hope that, uh, hope I don't sound too weird. Anyways, so there's a few key things in setting up a Beck on these lowriders. Um, if you're gonna be running upgraded servos like these, and you want to pull proper amps, uh, you're going to want to have a VEC. The, the most EBECs, sorry, most e ESCs that have a VEC in them, the, the amp rating is limited, so you're not going to be able to use this number of high demand servos and still be able to share all the amps and power everyone properly. That's why we're using the BEC. Because most RCs are going to use one high power servo like this for the steering. They also got the motor and everything else and you know they don't need all these extra servos but because we got so many we have a high amp demand. So if you want to be banging switches and doing all kinds of crazy stuff and not have any brownouts or anything uh, you're going to want to have a BEC so you can keep everything powered. Now the one I got in here is basically the the go-to one that you're going to need for this one here is the castle bec 10 amp so that just give you the info on it right there and it's it's not very hard to wire in the bec but it's very important that it's wired in properly so what i have here is i have the wires uh directly these two additional wires here are the wires that go to the bec so these ones have just basically been soldered onto the lead plug. So they're now part of the ESC wire that plugs into the battery. So that once you plug in the battery, now the BEC is powered on and it's active. So you can start actually hitting switches. Show that right here. So as soon as you plug it in, the servos are active. Oops. Sorry. Uh, I have the BEC plugged in, but I don't have it plugged into the controller or anything because I was going to show about the wiring. So let me just unplug that and we'll show that out in a second. Now this wire here is the lead that comes off the, e, um, the BEC. And you just need to have this go into any open port. This one here is the, the lead that comes off the ESC directly. Now this is important because the ESC has a built-in BEC and it's gonna try and power the receiver if you plug this in there. So what you need to do is, is disconnect the red wire. See what I've done is I've pulled the red wire out of the plug clipped it back, put a little shrink tape on there. So the only two wires that go into the plug are the uh, ground wire and the signal wire. The red wire is not included. Now they also have a little adapter where you plug it in and it basically eliminates the power wire so you don't have to actually do any soldering here. There's a little uh, bridge connector that you can get, but you can, you can also just make one yourself out of a, a servo extension wire, it's not that hard. So the key is that make sure you do not have the red wire going from the ESC into the receiver. So now I'll plug this sucker in. All right. And I also had my steering servo unplugged so because it was in the way. So we'll just put that sucker back in. Wait, 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 wait. And so uh, on the um, the receiver, because we're using all the ports here, an easy one to stick it into is one of the top ports. So if you notice it has two top servo ports, I bus and S bus, whatever. You can just plug those suckers in right there and now we're good to go. So now when I plug it in, this is gonna be, the receiver is gonna be powered. It, the ESC is not gonna be on cause I'm not gonna turn it on yet, but it'll still have the ability to run all the servos. There we go. See a little. And I 
actually do a little, a little jumpy jump. Anyway, so now, if you notice, if you give the throttle, the ESC is not turned on yet, so it's not giving it nothing. So as soon as you plug it up, power is going to be on. So you got to make sure that when you're done, you unplug it so you're not powering everything still. And then you can then turn on the ESC. And then you get... Then you get the control like that. She has pretty much basically uh, how you want it set up for a BEC. Got any questions or anything, just shoot them in the comments and I'll, I'll try and clear it up. I'll also post a link to a, a Castle BEC. And I'll also try and find, uh, I'll try and find some of those little adapters and post a link to that also. And I'm just gonna jump in here and add one more detail. Is uh, when you first install the BEC, uh, the BEC from the factory is set to like 5 amps. Uh, sorry, the 5 volts. So you do need to get the castle link in order to plug the BEC into the computer and adjust the uh, voltage. So this one here, you can obviously adjust it way higher than, uh, than 5 volts. It goes up to 9 volts out. So you do need to have the uh, programmer, the castle link. I'll put the link also uh, in order to make that adjustment. And, uh, you know, for 2S, you either bump it up to 7.5 or, se sorry, 7.4 or 8.4 volts. If you really want to, to hit those switches hard, 8.4 volts is where it's at. So with that, uh, I hope the video was helpful. I hope I didn't sound too weird. And I'll catch you in the next one. Turn this off.